I just want to reassure everybody and say that the NHS is making every possible preparation and I actually saw myself some of the, the works that's being done across the NHS uh, to get ready for that and as you can imagine uh, just, just last, last night and as you can imagine the uh, issue of uh, coronavirus is something that is now the government's top priority and I've just had a meeting with the Chief Medical Officer and Secretary of State for Health and others. And I think it's very important to stress that this is a uh, problem that I think is likely to become more significant for this country in the course of the next days and, and weeks and uh, that will uh, help our, ourselves to stop the spread of the, the illness is to wash our hands and uh, do that, you know, it's 20 seconds, uh, uh, that's two times happy birthday, I'm told, with hope. I, 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 I'm shaking hands continuously. I was, at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody, uh, you'll be pleased to know, and, and I continue to shake hands. And, uh, uh, I... It looks as though we're now approaching the fast growth part of the upward curve. And Without drastic action, cases could double every five or six days. Don't think that fresh air in itself automatically provides some immunity. You have to stay two meters apart. You have to follow the social distancing advice. And even if you think that you are only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home, I'm self-isolating. I've today left hospital after a week in which the NHS has saved my life, no question. It's hard to find words to express my debt. We must stay alert. We must continue to control the virus and save lives. Then in the next few weeks and months, we may be able to go further. We believe we may be in a position to begin the phased reopening of shops and to get primary pupils back into schools. Of course, you know, I hope, hope, hope that we will achieve a a virus. And actually, uh, you know, I'm hearing some very encouraging things from what's going on at, uh, at Oxford. Uh, sorry, achieve a vaccine uh, and, and, and develop a vaccine that can, that, that can defeat the, the virus. And I'm, I'm hearing all sorts of positive uh, noises. But, you know... You